So you've invested in fixed term deposits, mutual funds, and real estate. That's great diversification, right? You see fixed term deposits and mutual funds, which are essentially debt in equity holdings in government and businesses, are financial assets, which means that they go up and down with the rumblings of the financial market. So how else can you diversify? Yes, gold is one way, but gold is a special case. Gold was used as a currency before the prevalence of paper. Because of its scarcity value, it has held its value against inflation over the long term. It's also done well when financial markets have not. But apart from being a currency, did you know gold is also a commodity? Commodity is basically a natural asset which can be grown, mined or extracted from the earth. You can invest in a range of other commodities to hedge against inflation and diversify your portfolio. There are three broad categories of commodities. Metals. Precious metals like gold, silver, platinum or industrial metals like aluminium, copper. Energy. Crude oil or natural gas. Agriculture. Edible crops like coffee, sugar, corn, wheat or materials like cotton, jute. Given that there are more than 7 billion people on earth who will consume products made from these raw material commodities, you can be always assured that there is demand for them. The question is how will the demand and supply balance out and how that will impact prices over the long term. I think it's prudent to get exposure to commodities because you can be rest assured that you'd be using them. Next question is, how will you get that exposure? There are a few different ways. First is physical holding. You can do that with things like gold, but not really with things like oil or wheat, right? Not feasible. Second is commodity related stocks. So these are the equity stakes of companies that grow, mine or provide infrastructure to those commodities. But here's the thing, either they actually hedge out their exposure to commodities or two, the prices of those stocks fluctuate with the stock market. So you've achieved no diversification. Third is ETFs or mutual funds. So there are some gold ETFs or exchange traded funds, but there aren't any other commodity related ones. The fourth is commodity derivatives. This is the most common way investors get exposure to the commodities market. There are two types of derivatives, futures and options. A futures contract is basically a forward contract in which the producer agrees to sell at a preset price and delivers the produce at a preset date. That contract has to happen. You may want to learn more online or ask your financial advisor.